Okay, now let's bring in Jamie Strachan of CBC Sports for more. Okay, a disappointing outcome, but take us through the highlights. Well, I think, you know, this game got off to a very auspicious start for uh, for Team Canada. Clearly a miscommunication at the back line uh, led to Milan Borian kind of clearing the ball uh, to what he thought was a teammate, but was actually a, uh, a Moroccan player who easily deposited the ball into the back of the net. Um, Morocco went ahead 2-0 uh, uh, a few minutes later on a beautiful ball uh, where the Moroccan player... Uh, uh, outran two Canadian defenders and finished very nicely, kind of reminiscent of the goal that the team gave up against Belgium. Uh, a little bit of optimism in the 40th minute. Canada uh, cut that uh, deficit in half with an own goal um, by Morocco. And really in the second half, Arthi, they played with a lot more energy, a lot more composure, a lot more coherence in terms of what they wanted to do uh, with the ball. They had a number of, uh, of great opportunities, including one where it looked like about half of the ball uh, went across the goal line. But really, after giving up those two uh, goals, especially that one really early on in the game on what was, you know, a, a very bad blunder by Milan Bori on the Canadian goalkeeper, someone who's really been the rock uh, of, of this team, making a mistake uh, under the bright lights in a very big moment. They were unable to, to kind of right the ship. Morocco obviously had a lot to play for. They needed draw to go through in this group. Canada playing for pride, uh, got another uh, their second goal uh, of, of this tournament, but they will go home uh, one win from the World Cup in their second appearance uh, without having registered point. And of course, we have to also look at the silver lining. Despite the fact that there were three losses uh, for the team here, we know that it was a really important tournament overall. What has it meant for Canada? Well, for sure, Arthur. I mean, any time that you're in the World Cup, it's a big deal. It was a long, arduous process going through the CONCACAF qualifying, which is, you know, very rigorous and goes over almost the course of, of more than a year. But I think Canada learned a lot of things at, at this World Cup. And it's that these big moments, these big plays in these games, they happen very, very quickly. And if you don't rise to the occasion and capitalize on them, you can find yourself, you know, going home uh, after three games games and that first game had all the play uh, against Belgium Alfonso Davies unable to convert on uh, on that penalty and that kind of really set the tone for the tournament I think everyone will look back at that game against Belgium and think you know what might have been for this Canadian team had he converted on that I think it might have been a different uh, a different show for this men's team in, in Qatar then you had that second game against Croatia amazing start Davies scores the first goal uh in the history of uh, of the World Cup for for Canada, up one nothing. But then in the last few minutes of that second half, the Croatian team scores two quick goals, and the momentum of that game completely changes. And then you had the game today. But I think a lot of lessons learned for Team Canada playing soccer on the world's biggest stage. Oh, Jamie, we heard uh, Stephanie talking about how the kids are looking ahead to 2026. So what's next for this team? A lot to look forward to. Obviously, Canada does not have to go through that arduous uh, qualifying process again as one of the three hosts, along with Mexico and the United States. They receive an automatic qualification to the 2026 World Cup. Uh, Canada will host a number of games in different cities across the uh, across the country. The tournament field will be expanded for that World Cup, so there will be more teams in the tournament. And I think you'll see a lot of the key the key components, the key players who are part of this team, Canada, part of that team in 2026 probably some new names as well as some of the older players um, move on. But obviously, a lot to build on. Did it go as Team Canada wanted in this tournament? Absolutely not. And, and you know, I don't think they would tell you any different. Did they want to move on? Yes. But now they've been back in the World Cup for the first time in 36 years. They got that goal. They actually got two. And they showed they could play with some of the best teams in the world, but still clearly a lot more work to do for this Canadian soccer program, which is really an up-and-coming team uh, on the international stage. Definitely not an established entity just yet. Thanks for this, Jamie. That is Jamie Strachan of CBC Sports.